Alright, hi guys. Uh, today we're gonna do the Frievia chaining video. Ah, uh, she chains well with herself. I've said it before. I'm just gonna show you Earthshine. Okay, the problem is there is a delay. So if you want to chain her with Orlando, it doesn't come out that nice. Anyway, just watch. Switch on the effects. Okay, so it is pretty. I mean, like Yun, it's very easy to chain with herself. So it's a 20 chain. But when you're in a chain with other units, now that's gonna be a little hard. Okay, it's not that hard, but uh, you can't just set a macro to go like tap, 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 tap. It's going to be a little more difficult. Alright, if you get what I mean, I'm going to show it to you. So you have to go with uh, Orlando's Divine Ruination first. See if my mouse clicking skills are that good. All right, let's go. Okay, so you have to cast Orlando first, and then you go with uh, Freevia. All right. So it this in a way, uh, with a little bit of timing, you can actually make this. Uh, new exclusive unit, a uh, pretty decent one, if you happen to have Orlando. Uh, because this is done manually, you can't really replicate uh, the chains. It's not something that you can do all the time. There are bound to be mistakes and stuff. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna try... Gilgamesh, I think. Yeah, let's try Gilgamesh. I'm probably gonna fail. Alright, let's find a fit. A very strong Orlando. Because I have my... Freevis uh, equipped pretty... Badly. You know what? I'm just gonna gear them up just so we can see the damage. Eh, I think this we can switch it to the mag ones. Okay, so the best in slot for Freavia is gonna be two of own TMs. Genji Glove, The Needle, two of them, I said that already, I must be dumb, and uh, Creepy Mask, Brave Suit, 
Okay, Brave Suit is something... Okay, for, for my uh, free area right now, a Rainbow Rope gives more mag. You can actually reach pretty high levels of uh, mag with her, with magic. Letters and arms. So it's around 979. 979 Meg. Uh, we're gonna put on the Meg Asper. Mm. Okay, to make things easier for myself to chain, I'm gonna put them all together. And I'm going to try and gear the rest. Uh, okay, because she gets double hand innate, uh, we want to try and make the best out of it. I'm probably going to do a hybrid sort of kind of thing with her. Just so we can get as much out of her as we can. So Lunef's TM. Okay, so obviously I do not have that many of her TM right now. I have two. Uh, it's not going to be that great thing. Um, but we'll try, we'll try. So, power of creation. Just for the extra mag and attack. Oh, wait, what? Alright. Hmm, we're gonna go with some quick assaults. Where are my quick assaults? What the hell? Oh, I can go with seal destructions. Because they do uh, boost attack and mag at the same time. So, pretty even right there. Alright, so double hand is better. And fuck the moon blade. Uh, go double mana blade. And okay, so since I don't have that many uh mage gear, so I'm gonna use uh, physical DPS gear instead. We're gonna do dual wheel on her. Alright, so this is it, okay? So this is the team <coughs> that we're gonna try. And one shot Gilgamesh. Okay, so when you wanna chain, you wanna go with Orlando first. I picked the right skill. Alright. Ah, it's all over the place. 
Anyway, so that's how you chain her with Orlando. Uh, like I said in my previous video, uh, Freyavia, she's... Okay, the only issue with her is that she is uh, stuck with Ice Element because of her skill. So this, in a way, makes her a little inferior to Orlando. Mm. I mean, she is a great unit, you know, being an exclusive one for us uh, in comparison to J uh, Japan. And she does deal a fair share of uh, damage, but the TMs that she needs to actually be really strong is uh, very demanding uh, on you if you are planning to make a best in slot one. So we have like 1k mag on her right now. Uh, it is very difficult to gear her like this because, okay, so let's say you have uh, a Freya, you're gonna need two to make one the best in slot. Alright, so that is in a way tough because then what happens to the others, right? Uh, and because of a passive, she makes it seem like you can actually uh, run one weapon at a time instead of dual wielding. But to get more damage output, you're gonna need two. Um, I mean, because of the innate double hand, she is easier to gear for free to play players. But to get the most out of a potential, you're going to need a lot, a lot of TMs. Uh, the damage she does is uh, comparable to Orlando's because of the huge uh, modifier, which is 800% damage. Plus, there's a reduced uh, resistance on that. But uh, if you happen to actually come across a mob, a, ca uh, a boss that has a high ele ice elemental resist, it's going to be a little hard for you to actually use her or, or actually justify using her in the team in the first place. She does have other skills that actually help you, uh, like reduce uh, attack, you know, debuffs, uh, reduce uh, and then paralyze and whatever. It's a lot of things that she has, all right. And she has blind paralyze and confusion resist, so this makes it pretty okay with her. I mean, she is a great unit, all right, but. If we're gonna do a tier list, Orlando is definitely higher on her because he's more versatile. Alright, so Orlando, Orlando is not uh, limited to just one element. You can put any damn fucking element you want on him. Uh, but his, uh, to get the most out of Orlando's potential, you need a light weapon. Just mainly because he reduces light resistance, right? And... The times that you are going to use Orlando's other skills are very limited because his best skill is Divine Ruination. So in a way, it's a one-dimensional unit. Uh, he has other skills that you can use, but if you have Orlando and you're not building him to do all the damage that you can do, it's kind of weird, right? You have other units to do all the debuffs. Uh, so as a pure damage unit, Orlando is uh, in a way stronger than Freyavia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it the right way, but yeah, fine. Um, so anyway, in global right now, the top two damage units are going to be Freyavia and Orlando. Um, and of course, because the game has been out for like around eight months, the TMs that you have grinded, Blade Mastery, um, Excalibur, the, the easier to obtain ones, they're going to be easier to fit on an Orlando. Alright, because Freyavia can only use swords. Okay. I mean, the other gear selections that she has is pretty good. She can use uh, heavy armor, ropes, uh, light armor, clothes, whatever. She has a good selection there. It's just that the weapon selection that she has, it is very limited. So you cannot build her in such a way that she is uh, so strong in attack and high, uh, magic at the same time. I mean, this is the problem with hybrid, right? Because it takes uh, the stats from attack and mag at the same time. And, uh, I mean, it's very hard to maintain a nice balance of it. So you're going to have to focus on one stat on a hybrid unit, much like Noctis is. And, uh, okay, uh, we're going to talk about Arena. 
in arena Orlando is bullshit okay he's trash because no AoE you can fit Odin on him but is it worth it just to have a blade blitz uh, it's not there's no point in using Orlando in arena Fryer does have a place in arena because of hybrid damage uh, it's gonna help you with uh, dodge units full evasion ones you're gonna have a lot of uh, happiness going with her and she is actually just a little less useful than Noctis. Her limit burst does stop, I believe. I, I, I don't really remember, but I think the, the limit burst stops. But to actually survive all the way for your limit burst to actually be up, it's gonna take a few turns, alright? And she does not have a fast building limit burst bar. But she is usable in arena, alright? And she does crazy chains. But the crazy chains are single target, alright? Uh, Frost Flash is a nice skill for arena. I mean, any hybrid skill is great for arena, so Fairview is going to be awesome for you. And we have the free enhancer, so if you're free to play, you can use that. And just try and build on the double hand that she has. Because her double hand actually increases attack and mag at the same time. Which is a very unique trait to have in a unit. Alright guys, anyway I hope you enjoyed this chaining video. And a little talk about the two units and the comparison between them. Uh, I mean, if I had a choice, I would always use Orlando over Ferevia. Mainly because she's limited to one element. Uh, her TM is great though. I mean, this TM is super amazing. I mean, you just stick it on a Noctis and wow. So strong. Problem is, this is an Ice Elemental weapon. Uh, but my Noctis right now, I'm just using them for Arena. Because uh, Blizzard Flask OP, right? You just... Um, how do I put this across? Anyway, get end the video any, just right here. Uh, Forever is a great unit. Only second to Orlando right now. And uh, if you have tickets, go pull for her, man. It's going to help you out if you actually get her. You're lucky enough. And I wish you luck. So good luck, guys. And uh, take care. See ya.